Hi guys, just wanted to give you a little bit of advice on how to make a volcano fact file, which is the task that I've set for today. Now, before we begin, I want you to be clear that this isn't a huge thing. It can be as big as you want it to be. It can be a couple of pages long. It can be one page long. It can be a poster. It can be whatever you want it to be. It's just to showcase what you've learned about volcanoes. If you want to write a story about volcanoes or um, a... Uh, just a document, that would be fine too. I just thought that some of you might quite appreciate making something a little bit bigger and adding some colour to it. Okay. So, to make a fact file, there are some really important points to remember, which will make your fact file look the best it can possibly be. What do you need to include in your fact file? You need to include a title. Okay, tell your reader what they are seeing. Now, your title should be clear. I've written here it should be eye-catching, and there should be as little writing as possible. Make sure you include your name as well, obviously. There should be a contents page if you're doing a fact file. You could have it in pages. If you're doing it in pages, you might do a PowerPoint presentation, and then it would be slides. You might decide to write uh, on several pieces of paper. Then you might want to include pages, or you could just include sections as well, okay? And then each section gets a title. So that will then tell whoever is reading your fact file what they can expect next. The next thing I've written here is that you need to include an introduction, okay? Tell us what your fact file is about in just a few, fun, few words. I'm going to be telling you all about how volcanoes are formed, what happens when they erupt, and I'm going to be talking about some of the most important volcanoes in the world. That's the type of thing. That would be fine, okay? Just something short. And lastly, you're going to have to include some sort of conclusion, which is explaining what you've learned, and you might even want to tell us what your favourite thing is. Okay. Hopefully that helps. Now I wanted to show you maybe just a few ideas which will then hopefully make your um, help, help you make your fact file yet better. So wait and I'll grab them. And I'm back. So here is my fact file and it, uh, hopefully you can see your fact file at the top. This would be my cover page. It's nice and clear. It tells the reader exactly what it's about and it also tells the reader who has created this. So that would be the cover page or your, your cover slide or anything like that. Okay. I've decided that I'm going to do mine on um, portrait. If you wanted to do yours landscape, which is when the paper is side on like this, that's absolutely fine too. So there's my cover page, nice and simple, nice and clear, not too much included in it. The best thing about a cover page though would be to include as much color as you can as well to make it eye catching for whoever's going to read it. Then I've got my contents page. I've written down the section and the title, and I've decided that my sections are going to be the introduction, then I'm going to do one on how volcanoes form, then I'm going to do one on what happens when volcanoes erupt, because I think that's quite exciting, and then I'm going to do a little bit on famous volcanoes around the world, and I'm going to finish it all off with a conclusion. How volcanoes form. So don't have too much writing in these. You maybe volcanoes are formed when, and then you might have some bullet points, okay? But what makes something really interesting like this is the diagrams, okay? So get maybe if you wanted to print a picture off the internet, if you could do that would be fine. If you were making a PowerPoint, you could cut a picture from the internet and add that into one of your slides. That would be amazing as well. Whatever way you want to do it. If you want to make it black and white, that's fine too. I've written here lots of colours, but there should be not too much writing, more of the drawing, more of the labels, okay? If you are going to do a diagram, make sure you label it, okay? So you might have written down here crust, okay? Up here you might write funnel, or you might write crater or something like that, okay? That would be amazing. Your next, my next one is called When Volcanoes Erupt. And I've written here, a volcano erupts when? And then you would have maybe two or three sentences. That's all I would look for, telling the reader what happens when a, a volcano erupts. And then a diagram of an erupting volcano would be awesome. And then you might even want to include what damage does an erupting volcano do? So in the slides that I've, I've added earlier on, there are loads, there's lots of information about what happens after a volcano erupts. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's usually bad. 
famous volcano, so I'm giving away some of the secrets here. I've written down Pompeii. If you were to Google that, you would find a lot of information about a very famous volcanic eruption in a city called Pompeii. The Ring of Fire is an area around part of the Earth that has got loads and loads of volcanoes. It'd be excellent if somebody could find out about the biggest volcano in the solar system. I'll give you a hint, it's not on Earth. There's also a Scottish volcano that's not actually too far from us. Now, I don't think it's going to erupt anytime soon, but it's inf interesting information. Then a conclusion, and really short and sweet, I found out that volcanoes are, okay, keep it short. Anything you want to include in there is absolutely fine. Tell me a little bit about if you've enjoyed the project, a little bit about what you've learned. So that's a fact file, but I'm also thinking that you might want to produce a poster. Okay, now posters are slightly different from fact files because they're all on one piece of paper. If you're going to do a poster, think about how big you want your poster to be. If you have um, small bits of paper, could you use an old piece of a wallpaper that you could turn and write, do something in the back of? Could you use a bit of cardboard box that uh, you could you could flatten out and then you could add other bits of paper onto That would look really cool. You could use bits of A4 paper and sellotape them together or you might just have big sheets of paper around. That would be amazing as well. So the, the, the whole idea for a poster is that it's eye-catching. So I was doing, I would decided if I was going to do a poster, I would have it as portrait and I would have a really clear title up the top. Then I would maybe even write over here, by Mr. P. Now, I would split my poster into sections, okay? So I would still going to have a how volcanoes form section over here. I'm going to have a when volcanoes erupt section over here. And posters can get boring if there's too much writing on them. So you just might want to do some bullet points with your information and then maybe a little diagram. The same over here, some bullet points, a little diagram. And down here, you could um, you could have um, the flag maybe of the country that Pompeii is in. You could maybe have the Scottish flag as well. You could maybe even do a little diagram if you could of planet Earth, or maybe you could find a, a picture off the internet that you could potentially print or out of a book, of course, that someone might let you cut up. I'm not saying that you should go and cut up books, but then these are things that you could put onto your poster. That'd be amazing. And then I've suggested maybe you might want to do a detailed diagram. If you're doing a diagram, remember to include your labels and then just a little bit down the bottom for a conclusion. This is meant to be fun, okay? You do as much as you possibly can. I don't expect everybody to produce me the most amazing posters and fact files in the world. This is to practice your skills, guys, and it's to have a little bit of fun with. If you're struggling to get onto the internet, don't worry about it. If you have issues printing things off, don't bother. Just do the best you absolutely can with it. I hope this has helped. Again, obviously get in touch with me if you've got any questions and good luck everybody.